Hey everybody, today I'm going to be doing a quick review of the Tama Iron Cobra double bass pedals that you see in the frame right now and I'm going to be doing this review on the 200 series pedals which is what I have right over here. So uh, I'll give you basically the pros and the cons of the double bass pedals, what I like, what I don't like so that you can sort of make an educated purchase and you know know as much as you can about them. Alright so let's get right into it. As you can see they are absolutely gorgeous, the double bass pedals, they look fantastic and they've sort of fall in the lower price range of the double bass, bass pedals. Um, you're going to pay more for them than you would for a single bass pedal on the medium range but you know with regards to the prices of double bass pedals they are in the lower portion of the range. I would say that they're perfect for beginners because they allow you to play fast but you know not extremely fast but definitely for someone that's only been playing the drums for a few years and only uses the bass pedals double bass here and there they are literally perfect so I'm going to just move in a little bit closer so that we can take a better look at the pedals themselves so as you can see one of the best things that I, I find about the Iron Cobra 200 series right here is the fact that they are very very sturdy it's a solid solid design okay very very solid and the reflex so like when the double bass when the bass um, when the mallet comes back over here you can see the reflex is actually awesome I really really like the way that they feel when you are actually with hitting them down striking them with your foot and the good thing about these um, bass pedals with regards to their um, solid design is the simple fact that you can actually take your foot and hammer down on them without worrying about them wobbling around or without worrying about you know loosening any of the screws or breaking anything there's no problem hammering them you know as hard as you can and I do it very very often the one negative thing is uh, the simple fact that they wouldn't stay well at least a second the left hand the left one wouldn't stay on the ground in the same spot I I went and I actually screwed down I pinned it down with those two pins right there but it was still moving everywhere so what I did is I just went to my local hardware store and I got <clears throat> this little piece of uh, plumbing equipment right here and I attached it on and usually um, it does not move at all anymore because it's usually a little bit tighter than this and the bass drum pedal is usually a little bit further out so it usually does not go anywhere um, that is the one negative thing that I have to say about them is that they should have put more emphasis into the pins because I had it completely completely screwed down and it still moved. I didn't have too much of a problem with the with the main bass drum pedal right here but with the left one I had the problem. With regards to the actual shaft right here um, they can extend pretty far so as you can see I have mine extended uh, that distance right there so I have an electronic Roland electronic drum kit and I have them ex this extended to to this part of the frame the complete left hand side and this one in the middle of the frame right there and it can extend a little bit further because as you can see I only have one side extended the other side can extend just as much so you can actually take this and put it on the outside if you want with regards to the flexibility of the distance between them I think that you know Tama has nailed it and with these Iron Cobra 200 series pedals they have done a very very good job because you can sort of customize the distance in whichever way that you want to. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera on the side over here so you can see me uh, striking them down with my feet so you can sort of see how they look from a side profile as well. So as you can see, the Tama double bass pedals, the Iron Cobras that I have here are really, really sturdy. As you can see, I was completely hammering down my feet on them without any problems at all. They were barely even moving and the reflexes of the mallets were still good. So I would highly recommend these double bass drum pedals to any beginner because they are perfect for beginners. They will allow you to learn how to play the double bass, you know, play the bass drum with double bass drum pedals 
um, at least until you are, you've developed your skill up to a, a pretty significant speed. And then you'll probably have to go one step up to ones that offer faster reflexes and a smoother glide. But you know what? These are definitely great for beginners and I would highly, highly recommend them. And they're one of the best within their price point with regards to double bass drum pedals. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.